quick short break as I switched over to a new spot. This is my filter media. As you can see there, it's in that J shape that we were talking about earlier. Um, I've just used a piece of security mesh just to hold in aluminium security mesh just to and spray a little bit of contact adhesive um, on both sides to get it to stick there so it's not flopping around. Um, and I'll show you the inside of the duct. As you can see here, I've actually cut a sort of triangular opening in here and it was for a good reason. I've actually made the center of my spray booth the edge of the duct. I use square ducting um, and square ducting has some real big advantages. One is, is that for the same size pipe, I can almost get you know, uh, two thirds more volume of air, which slows down my airstream, which again lets particles fall out of it and uses less horsepower. I have less drag because I have a larger opening. So it's a lot more efficient and all my, all the energy that I'm trying to use is ran through the filter media. Um, by having a larger filter media, it also reduces the airflow going through the media, which means there is less drag. So the slower you can move the air through the filter, the better off you are. Um, by having such a large surface area in here in that J shape, like I was, like we were saying before, there is a lot more surface area than there is on the front here. So the airspeed here is a little bit quicker than the airspeed back where it's being filtered at. So that keeps my work area a lot cleaner because the velocity here compared to the filter media is much, much lower. Um, getting back to the, the mounting it on the edge here, using a square duct, the corners be, take advantage of them because as the air goes through here, it creates a little cyclone like so as the air goes in from the side and air gets trapped in the corners and becomes, and some of the, in, right in the very corner, the air becomes stagnant. Also, the particles that are in the airstream are traveling in a straight line, and as they go around, as you curve the air around, the particles fly off, hit the wall, and slide down the sides. <clears throat> so there's some real big advantages to using square duct, not only because it reduces your, the airstream velocity in there, but you can take advantage of some of that geometry inside. Further up, it turns into a linear airstream as it goes up. Um, again, reducing velocity. So I'll just um, pop this filter back in there again, and I'll stick my head in there just quickly to give you an idea of the noise. Those two toilet fans, they're meant to be, they're designed to be quiet, and there's nothing worse than um, listening to a roaring spray booth. Um, I've got a small clip up on the top in the middle and it just pivots down and pushes into position. I tuck it in around the sides. Like so. I have a clear polycarbonate top on there. I have a um, recycled TV that I've removed the LCD out of that I use for illumination, which was the reason that I put a clear top on it. As you can see, my painting area is back here. I'll just grab a rack and pop it in there. Lock it in. Um, so you can see that I'm painting back in here. So all the air here is moving that way. And it, there is no fumes, no paint particles that come out the front face of this thing. Um, it's quiet, it's a pleasure to paint in front of. Um, I don't think I can go over too much else. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you're looking at and I hope something that I've said here helps you design your next spray booth from the parts you already have. Anyway, if you have any questions about the TV or the regulators or you know, even my paint rack or a little bit more in depth on how my booth works, um, drop me a line in the comments and I'll pop up a video on it. Alright, catch you later.